I received this text from the Democrat Party, somebody whose phone number is listed up there. So, you know, if y'all want to go ahead and troll them, go right on ahead and do so. Um, it starts out saying, is there anything we can say to convince you to make a contribution to the Democratic National Committee before tonight's debate? <laughs> and my reply was, yeah, like answer why all black media was shut out of the debate. Reparations now. <laughs> now, family, you know, the reason why I posted this is because y'all know me if you've been following my channel long enough to know that I don't vote, period. I don't care whether it's in the local elections or whether it's in the uh, federal elections. Um, I don't vote. And one of the reasons why I don't vote is because I know that it's all a con. I know that when we lend our members to the lesser of two evils, we're still participating in the act of evil. I also know that it doesn't really matter which puppet is um, filling the shoes of uh, this nation's quote unquote leader, that they really don't care about what happens to us in terms of anything that is positive. Uh, like, for example, President Biden, the time for national reparations is now. And this is something that at the end of the day, Biden is a pharaoh and Trump is a pharaoh and Obama was a pharaoh and all the presidents are pharaohs and i just don't think we understand that when we continue to lend our support to these systems that we can't complain about what the systems are doing to us i mean you know i think it's the the, the wildest concept in the mind of black americans to grasp this idea of not voting they think that they have to because their their um, ancestors, you know, fought for the right for us to vote or during the civil rights movement. You know, that was all about us being able to have equality so that we can vote. Well, Brown versus the Board of Education also took place during the civil rights movement. And that was one of the things that black people used as a tactic uh, as, as, as a um, as a weapon against me when I chose to homeschool my children. Well, what about Brown versus Board of Education? Don't you understand how far we've come? Well, what about where we're at fast forward now when it comes to our children who are in these public institutions and are not learning uh, the three R's, right? Reading, writing, and arithmetic, but instead they're being indoctrinated into the LGBT agenda. What about the fact that a majority of these students either drop out or they cannot read at a fifth grade level by the 11th grade? What about that? So do I believe that because um, of something my ancestors did in hopes that it would help us to have a greater place in society of, of equality, that it will work? Do I believe that that is a means for me to now position myself and vote for people who clearly from their inception have never had my best interest in mind. I don't believe so. And I don't believe that any of us at this point needs to continue on with the connery in hopes that it changes. Like the same way they shut down the conversation concerning reparations for us, we need to shut down the conversation when it comes to voting for them. I want you all to take a listen to what this gentleman has to say concerning the Obama administration when he was in term, in, in term and what he had to say concerning about his position on reparations. One HR 40 coalition leader recalled, we were always told that during the eight years President Obama was in office, the word from House leadership was that there would be no discussion of HR 40 and reparations because it would be an embarrassment to the president. Another said, we did push for an executive order. We thought that President Obama would do it in his last two years, and he just refused to do it. So the fact that they don't care about the racial wealth gap, the fact that they don't care about the brutality that continues to happen to black bodies in, at the hands of police and the health service industry, um, the fact that our ancestors and were never properly compensated for what they did, what was stolen from them, their uh, descendants, us, were never properly compensated. So why should I, at any point, at any turn, give myself and yield myself over to a system that has never cared about me? I'd rather give myself over to the one that is higher than I, the one that hears my cry and says, I am going to deliver my people. But the question is, do you want deliverance from the most high or are you waiting on deliverance from this Pharaoh system? Because if you're waiting on deliverance from this Pharaoh system, Jack, it ain't never coming. I'm just telling you, it's never coming. He, the most high has to literally supernaturally bring them to their knees in order for this to happen. 
So no, Democrat Party at the number 202-780-3505, whoever you are. And like I said, feel free to troll them. Um, no, I'm, I'm not interested at all in participating in your debate. And there's nothing that you can do to help me other than pay me. Why would I give you money? Like, why would I ever donate to you? <laughs> that's just that's just stupid. So that's my take on it. Let me know what yours are. Um, definitely leave a comment below in the comment section, as well as like, share and subscribe and support. Thank you so much. Love you always. And yeah, bless. We live in America. We literally have opportunities here that people are dying for.